you know, exactly. blood, brain plasma, mm. shit coming out the head, uh, head's chopped off, blood dripping off a blade, and your head is under that damn thing, you know? Go ahead. For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. What did Satan tell Yahweh, Shai? He said, if you be the son of the, the Most High, didn't he say that? Uh, then jump off the, uh, jump off the, basically, the mountaintop and see if the, uh, the angel will uh, rescue you, or save you. And then Yahweh Shai combated them with the scripture. He said, the scriptures also say, thou shalt not tempt uh, Yahweh, well, Yahweh. I believe that's how it goes. Yeah. Come on. So they gonna say they, they talking about Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Is they power and they gonna deliver them? You know we got them. We got their ass in a, in a torture tank. You know, or with all these sharp instruments right there. We gonna see what he gonna do in. You know. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, uh, that's beautiful that you brought that up because that precept right there. I mean, that just shows you that. The men that are going to be doing this, they're going to say that there's going to be a power that's going to deliver them. You know, which of these, which a lot of other groups don't talk about. They don't talk about being delivered by, by you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh. They don't talk about. They're that. talking about delivering themselves through the law, through the law. Come, come. You know, just like the three holy children. Uh, their Babylonian names were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Abednego, yeah, You know, Abednego. <laughs> right. They were. Uh, they didn't. They weren't gonna bow down and worship the Babylonian god, you know. So uh, they had to face the fiery furnace, you know. And what they had faith, and what happened? The Most High delivered them. He actually sent Yahweh to deliver, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to deliver them. You know, to tell you that the Son of Man walked in the furnace with them. And yeah, the main thing in that uh, in that account. They had said whether well, the most had to deliver us or not, we still not gonna worship you, man. So whether if you had to die or the most had to deliver you, is you gonna have that same faith that Misha and Shadrach and Abednego, man. Because if you see that you're going through that torture in hell and that Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah not deliver you, but that you had to be a martyr, are you gonna deny Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah? Are you gonna face something, take that pain and die like a man of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah, man? Yeah, that's why we got to finish that over there in uh, Revelation 3. Oh, There's some more in that. Oh, and when in the hour, what's the scripture? Is, is it by the scripture that talk about the hour of temptation oh, when it says the most high yeah, shit gives you the spiritual resistance? Yeah. Okay, come on. That's okay. Yeah, we'll finish that. You are done. Wisdom, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 19. Let us examine him with despitefulness Let and examine. torture. Yeah. Go ahead, read that again. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture. Just like both them brothers that uh, had went into, man. He saw about to show you what he about, man. Yep. We talk about him, or go out on the block and talk about Esau getting ready to show his horns. Well, you really extrapolating and, and, and seeing what's coming, man. Like the brother got graphic going into the brain plasma, man. It's going to be all type of things you're going to see in that day, man. Up and up until the point to where you actually getting tortured, man. Yeah, man. Once I could take the spirit from you, you bug out just from the sight of limbs and heads rolling around everywhere, man. Hey, he saw them is more, you know. He's basically at the height of his his uh, witchcraft, you know. And Esau can torment you or try to attempt to torment you, and not even touch you. Just fucking do some MK Ultra shit to you, you know. Right. And freak you the fuck out. And ain't shit really happening, but they got them, they cast them fucking spells on you. And, and you know, you, you fucking start freaking out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I got that's something. Like like that's why uh, Yahweh has uh, said what he uh, has said in the scriptures. Build not your treasure on earth where moth and rust do, moth and, uh, right. and right. the rust do corrupt. That's why we build our church in uh in heaven, so we can get prepared for these things to come. So like uh the scripture also said, where well, your treasure is also is your heart. A heart of being in heaven, so we we'll be prepared for the times to come. Right, cause and we won't care. The treasure is, you know, uh, these, you know, the scriptures is the treasure. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
And part of it, it talks about what we're talking about. Uh, part of these, the riches talks about, you know. Uh, suffering for your suffering, house, I say. You know, uh, maybe potentially you might be one of the men that, you know, had to die in this thing. Okay. And that's and that's you know that's something you gotta you know you gotta you know think about you know what I'm saying. Just know at the end of the day, as long as you die believing in your heart about Shimei uh you gonna be alright. You really gotta expect the worst, man. The worst you can think of, man. Be prepared for it. Because you can barely get down, you, you hit your funny bone, bite your tongue, stump your toe, you be in pain like a motherfucker. Can you imagine a motherfucker putting small slits with a razor on you? Yeah, finish that up. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture, that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. Yeah, that word patience again. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Just on that last line, man, it said that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. That's the whole thing, man. We going through, we focus on the trials, uh, and, and at the end of it, it is all the trial, trials from your, uh, y'all by Shemiah was shot, man. The proof, the proof. Yeah, but he gonna, he gonna allow Esau to be, uh, to be that final test, man, in that hour of temptation. That's the proof. God, to prove you. But Esau, in his mind, he said, nah, I'm going to prove him wrong, man. Esau is about upsetting the scriptures, man. Upsetting the prophecies and the scriptures because it leads to our kingdom, man. Yeah, you think Esau want to go into slavery? You think he's like, you know what? I mean, the scriptures tell you we got to take the kingdom. Mm -hmm. The uh -huh. saints of the, of the Most High shall take the kingdom. You know? Esau not going to say, you know what? Y'all right. Y'all bringing out the prophecies. Y'all on point. You know what? It's y'all time to rule. Yeah. Let's go into slavery. No, nah, they don't want to fucking get shackled up and go into captivity and live in pits, slimy uh pits, and work work to their damn literally work to their fingers to the bone. You know, that's a nightmare for that. They probably, you know, they might the most. I could be plaguing them, man. You will know what the most I doing to these fucking devils. Most I can be plaguing these fucking devils with dreams, man. Yeah, you know they're scared of most. Oh, visions, dreams, whatever, you know, either either or. Mm -hmm. You know, they in slavery. They wake up and they, oh, shit, it was just a dream. And they thought they were shackled, you know, <laughs> shackled up. <laughs> but it's going to come the time, of, yeah. uh, it's going to come, it ain't, it's not going to be a dream. Mm -hmm. If these elites sure. out there having them type of dreams, it's going to come a point in time that y'all not get it, it's going to be reality. God. You're going to wake up and hope it was a dream. And your ass gonna be really in slavery. Mm. Hardcore slavery. Go ahead, and then let's go back to yeah, it's over there. Let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying he shall be respected. Such things they did imagine and were deceived, for their own wickedness had blinded them. Check now, that out. Go ahead and answer. Now, nah, just uh, letting you know, further, man. This devil really, he, he want to embarrass us, man, before he, really he annihilate us, man. He really is. You go back into slavery, what did Esau like to do? Chop your rod off, man. Mm. This sick devil, man, he can't just put you to death, man. He got to go that extra mile. But it's all, the, all these things that he imagined that he's going to do and fulfill is deceiving him, man. His own wickedness, according to the scripture, what it just said, his own wickedness has blinded him. He's so caught up and proud. And, and, and into his plans that he forgetting everything it, it's a power that exists that that, that gave him the position he in man and it didn't blinded him because he didn't got to his height like like the brother said earlier uh this place is at his height in wickedness man so this devil is proud man to the point he feel he can't be stopped man but he's being deceived man and the most high gonna show him to be a, the piece of shit that he is man and, and, and then the funny thing about it, man, you devils, you know what I'm saying, y'all got these plans to hurt us and to do all these things, but once we die, we only going to die once. You're going to die a thousand times in the kingdom. Every day you're going to have to deal with us, man. We're going to kill your ass every day and bring you back to life and torture you, man. Except for the Sabbath. Yeah, except for the Sabbath. Oh. We only going to die once, man, so go and do what you're going to do, man. But after that, 
it, it's over for your hot ass, man. And it really, if you really go into it, it's really not dead. Come. You know, you can only take our flesh. Yeah. Mm. You can't take our spirit. Yeah. You know. Come. Come. The scriptures say, for not him that destroyed the body, but him that um, right. That's all I'm saying. Because the most I could jack you is the one responsible for messing you up in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Not Esau. He'll use Esau. He'll uh, give you over to Esau. But you know, Esau can't do shit but, but kill you, put you to death. Your your body. He can't infiltrate your spirit, and that's the most high law. Look at Job. You know, the most high allowed Satan to do what he did to Job. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. That's it over there? Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right. Go back. Revelation 12. Uh, uh, this is Revelation uh, 3 and 10. I'm going to finish the whole thing. Uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also... Yeah, because the elect have... Believe in the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you know until un, unto death. <coughs> I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world hmm. to try them that dwell upon the earth. So that means when you know the Esau is coming at us with this chip, and then and shit get real bad out here, you know. The Most High is going to say, the Most High is going to keep you. In other words, another word for keep is watch. Just like in the Lord's, I'm sorry, in the anointing prayer, where it says that Yahweh uh, keep you. Yeah. But it's really saying the Most High will uh, watch you, watch, yeah. or watch over you, or the Most High uh, covers you, with it you with protects you with his spirit. You know? Yep. The spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So the Most High is going to give us the spirit to strengthen us to resist this, this devil. You know what I'm saying? Abba yeah. Rattaza, uh, we are the men. I'll go to the word for uh, to keep uh, in Revelations 3 and 10. It says here, uh, to rail, and this is uh, the Thayer's definition. It says to attend to carefully, take care of, mm -hmm. to well, guard, well. metaphorically to keep. One in the state in which she is. Check this out. If you, if you, uh, if you, uh, basically, for example, you know, Jake go through this type of shit. You gotta watch. Your parents tell you you gotta watch a little brother mm. or some shit. Mm. You in charge of, you know, so-called so protecting them, mm. feeding them, you know, taking care of them, guarding them. Guarding them. Mm. You go into what you was Yeah, yeah, no, I was gonna finish the rest of it. But yeah, yeah, just like you were saying, you know, to observe, to reserve, to undergo something. And then you go into the strong's definition, it says uh a watch perhaps akin to, to guard mm -hmm. uh from loss or injury. Hmm. Right? Because if you're watching your little brother, you know, you're watching him, you know, from hurting himself. Yeah. Playing uh, with the hot iron. <laughs> which is uh it says properly by keeping the eye upon Thus differing from, it yeah, has another different, which is probably to prevent escaping, from which implies a fortress or full military line apparatus, so basically full protection to hedge, you know. Um, it says by implementation to detain, to maintain, by extension to withhold, and that's pretty much it, to hold fast, keep, serve, watch. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, Scripture, we're gonna we're gonna switch gears. You know, okay. You make it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, something else. All right. Yeah, Revelation twelve and twelve. Come on. Yeah, twelve and twelve. No, come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's all right on Revelation twenty and four. Revelation twelve. Revelation chapter twelve, verse twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know it that he hath but a short time. And that's what we coming into. We've been mentioning, man. What's already in play right now is just waiting on a major event 
to uh, so uh, martial law can basically hit his full potential, man. Esau is about to ride on, on, on you, Jakes, man. Uh, 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 going into Jacob's triple, man. He's about to really come out with weapon technology that you don't even know exists, man. Why, Jake, you can do all the athletic and uh, uh, agility uh, uh, that you can and shit, man. Have a couple guns, but you're not going to be able to mess with Esau when he come with his military, man. Because they coming to have fun killing out. And what, what what the fuck can it, and I'll just say this too, what the hell can Esau do with you niggas anyway? I mean... Yeah. I mean, seriously, what can anybody do with these two third niggas? What they, they ain't doing nothing. They just they they basically live a a, van, a, a life vain of vanity, life. a vain life, a, a, a wicked vain life. You know. Yeah, Americans in general, they're Come. a bunch of useless eaters. Come. And this why up. this why the elite wants to get rid of y'all. Yeah. You know. I mean, they y'all didn't serve y'all purpose, which was to make them filthy rich and to give them power so mm -hmm. they can now they get, can get rid of them. You know. Well, I got something for dealing with that great Ralph. This right here coming from RT News. It say for the new year, new gun control. Obama to issue executive order on on firearms. Okay, and hang on to that. Okay. Yeah, because that's what we, we're going to get into, you know, before we end this lesson. We'll get into some of the current events, you know. Uh, and I just say this going to the point the brothers just made, you know. Right? There's no amount of, uh, uh, of preparing you can do outside of these scriptures right. mm -hmm. that's going to prepare you because when the scripture says, you Isaiah know. Isaiah 59, God. verse 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against him right so it said when the enemy shall come in as a flood man so what is a flood man a flood is an overwhelming force you know you think about water but this is a flood of the enemy the enemy is coming like a flood. When you see these floods, man, floods can uproot houses, man. Huh. You see these mudslides and these, these floods, man, they sweep away houses. They lift lift roads up off the uh, yeah. foundations, huh. man. So this is how, I mean, how you going to prepare for when the enemy come in like a flood? You know? You can't prepare for that outside of these scriptures. Yeah. So, you know, all you two-thirds, y'all done. Y'all done on this side, you know, and then we'll see y'all on the other side in your right frame of mind. You heed that's in America, man, that's caught over here, y'all done. And y'all gonna wake up, you know, in, in captivity. That's right. So y'all, y'all, there's nothing you can do that the most high is bringing this flood. You know, like that flood out there in Minnesota or Minneapolis, you know. People got water to their roof, man. The whole highways are being moved and stuff. Man, this the Most High. He's a bad man. Y'all yeah, gonna find out the wrath of the Most High, and that this truth is nothing to play with. Yeah, you know, and and uh, you know, the major a major prophecy was fulfilled in two two thousand fifteen, and uh, you know, we got to bring this out because this is a pivotal prophecy. You know, which uh. Basically, it's kicking off World War Three. Or uh, has kicked off World War Three, and that was America going into Syria and and causing Russia to react and causing Russia to come into Syria. You know, now there's a lot of a lot of you know little things that happened that was key in 2015, but we can't end this lesson without going into Ezekiel 38. Because, you know, that, that this is a major prophecy that was fulfilled this year, man. Showing you that, hey, we're not just whistling Dixie when we go out on these highways and byways. We're not, we not fucking around, so you can understand. You know? We bringing out the prophecies of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai with pinpoint accuracy, thanks to the, the, the men that Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai set up, the apostles of Great, Great Millstone, and we bringing, we bringing these scriptures out on point. <coughs> and you know we understand that y'all gonna scoff, y'all gonna mock. That come with the territory. 
Like the brother said, man, y'all just fulfilling prophecy. That just rolls off our back, mm -hmm. man. Like water off a duck. We so don't give a fuck. You know? Oh. So, right, you had you had U.S. going in the, you know, illegally removing a, removing a de democratically elected president or trying to trying to remove a democratically elected president of a nation that America had no business going in to evade just for the sake of America expanding its, 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 its uh, foreign policy, which is to, to enslave. Basically, they want to create chaos within the whole Middle East so that they can get get all them them nation to fighting and killing up each other, then they can come in and take over, which is what they do, you know, and, and swallow up all the resources or swallow down the riches, like it's written in Job the twentieth chapter, and that, and you know, Syria is a big stumbling block, but you know, then they're gonna try to go into Iran, basically. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have them gutter rats in in uh, Israel. Fuck with Iran, and that's gonna really you're gonna see it full fledged. You're gonna see World War Three full fledged then. Right, the least of the flocks will draw. Right, them, draw them out. Which that's the prophecy, the least of the flock drawing them out. But right now we're gonna go into that Ezekiel 38, brother. Start we start at number one, verse one. Con, Ezekiel 38, verse 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach. And right, and that's, this is Russia. So the brother's talking about the uh, land of uh, Magog. Set, uh, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, that's Russia. Chief Prince of Meshach, go ahead.